Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Okay, then you are. I have, you know, I have printed my my uh, diploma already. <laughs> I never printed the, the diplomas. I never printed. Oh, one. I oh. don't need it. <laughs> I, the last, oh, the last, yes. Uh, I, of course, you need it. I, no, I, I don't need it because studying English is is about is about my my best hobby. Yeah. <laughs> no, your I, hobby. Yes, I don't uh, need uh, to. Good show evening, the ladies position. and gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, coach. How are you? How was your day? It was great. Yes, my day was really interesting because I, uh, I went in the ambulance at the ambulance to San Salvador with a patient, and really? uh, we we returned to the emergency in Zacatecoluca at four p.m. Oh, really? Yeah. Four p.m. That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. That's that's a very long time. Yes, about uh, three hours and a half. Three hours and a half. Yeah. To go and to mm, uh, to return the 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 whole travel, the whole travel. During the whole travel, really. That's yes. That's, that's crazy. That's crazy. In Do the ambulance, see? in the ambulance with the sirena, the the siren, the siren open is uh, uh we got to the hospital in fifty. You went minutes. You arrived to the hospital in in your hand. We arrived. Thank you. We arrived to the hospital in fifty minutes. Fifty. Yeah. <laughs> wow. At the hospital of uh, Amatepec. That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm I'm glad that everything turned out well. What about the rest, guys? What do you do? What have you done? How was your May I speak? Yes. Yes, okay. absolutely, please. Okay, well, uh, you know, um, my routine is quite different, maybe, because uh, at about 3 a.m., uh, God uh, awake me, awakes me to to pray for people, you know? You wake up so to pray for then, people? Yes, of course. All right. And nice. then, uh -huh, and then, uh, wow. Well, we we go to to the we go to we go to bed with my husband again and 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 we get up at uh, for example six a.m. then and then we we have to go to to the uh, airport and then we go to the banks and so many things to do you know and sometimes uh, we have to go at twelve night at twelve at night to the airport and come back at 3, 3 30. Bro, because <laughs> because the, the you know the, the operations are at night. All sometimes. right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes that is why you look me uh, that I am uh, calling you like this. Sometimes in class, you know. <laughs> it happens to me. It happens to me uh, that I am calling you with my hair, you know. Okay. All right. <laughs> you you understand that I am I am sleeping sometimes. Yes, yes, exactly. Uh -huh. Because I, I feel you. a little bit tired today. Yes, no, you you're right, you're right, you're right. So anyway, so uh guys, I wanted to ask you something. Um what is the 
best beach in El Salvador that you've ever visited that, that you've uh, visited? The best one. What is the one? El Cuco. Ah, the best one. Cuco, the, best week, the best beach is El Cuco. Really? It's the best uh, beach that I I have seen. I have visited. Okay. All right. Cuco is in why? That is in San Miguel, isn't it? It's in San Miguel. Yeah. Yes, yes. So why? Like, uh, what is the sound? What, what is the sand like? Is it is it kind of white, <clears throat> or is it or is it black? No black. It's black. I remember, I think that is white. And you think it's white? Is it black or white, guys? <laughs> Don't get me confused. Black or. Or white? What is no, it? No, no, no. Mm, it's it's gray. It's gray. Yeah. Okay. It is a mixture. It's a mixture. Cobanos, okay. Los cobanos son son Los okay. cobanos. Very nice. The sun. Yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah. All right. Is it too crowded? Do you know what crowded is? In Salinitas Club. It's Salinitas. it's white. Okay. Right. That that is that is um. What, what's it called? Uh, oh my God, I forgot. But yeah, Salinitas, yes. Okay, all right. And, and have you gone to the, um, um, it's the, uh, it's called, it's a national park. I think it's called Monte Cristo or something. Oh, Monte Cristo in, in Metapan. That is in Metapan, really? Yes, isn't it, it is. Isn't it, isn't it in Chalate, no? <clears throat> no, no, no. In no. Chalatenango is Las Pilas and Las and Pilas. the Cerro El Pital. <clears throat> and, and where do we, Okay. And where do we have like the, the waterfalls here? Because I know we got some waterfalls. In San Juan, uh, San Juan Cascades in I the name of the of the town is escapes my mind. Uh, let me see. Oh. Um, it's, it's, it's in Guaymango. Okay. Because I'm going to have some really nice, um, you know, um, I'm going to take some a, a really nice vacation here <laughs> yes. during Holly Week. You know, uh, oh, yeah. by the way, guys, we're not going to be here in Holly Week. Okay. We're not going to be here since Monday until Friday. So all that week is free for you to, you know, go on vacation. Okay. Got it? And we're gonna return the following week after that, okay? Sounds good? Yeah, it sounds good. Sounds well, great. but for my kind of, of job with my husband, it is very busy, more busy, busier than these days, you know? Yes, yes, I, I understand. Mm -hmm. Yes, I because understand. if we work with transportations, sometimes they are coming people from Canada, from from the United States, it, they don't speak in Spanish, so I have to go with my husband because I have to to be the translator for him. Okay, all right, all right, very good, very good. Okay, so guys, let's do something. Let's get started. Okay, all right, time to get started, guys. Otherwise, we're not gonna move on. So let's let's do that. Okay, and then we can, because uh, I need to go over the the platforms answers with you. Right, so we are in week three, right? So we're gonna go today, guys. We're gonna answer the questions from section three, okay? Three, yeah, okay. So, so yeah, that's uh, that's what we're gonna do today, guys. Okay, so let's talk about tech questions, okay? We're gonna talk about tech questions, and then we're gonna talk about negative questions, you know, to give opinion. It's okay. So you yeah, might have an okay. idea. On, you might have an idea on tag questions already, right? Now, tag <laughs> questions can yes. be formulated in any tense, right? And the tag question does not really start with a question, right? So let's take a look at this, okay? So in today's class, guys, you will be able to use tag questions and negative statements okay. to give opinions, right? Today, we're only going to focus on tag questions, though, okay? So let me ask you something, guys. Uh, so do we have... Can anybody tell me what is an example of a tag question? 
in your own words, guys, okay? What is what is the tag question in your own words? Yes, uh, what is a tag question? Okay, a tag question is uh, something that we can want to emphasize <clears throat> after we uh, uh, affirmate something. For example, we say, uh, you like to go with us to uh, Waterfalls San Juan uh, in, in, in Guaymango, wouldn't you? Mm. Okay. You would like to. Uh, all right. Okay. Right. You? That that is that is all, all mostly correct. Yes. Yes, that is right. <laughs> and I said mostly because the grammar structure is we missed something there. Okay, but <laughs> it's, it's good. You know, it's good. All right. Very good. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. What else, guys? What else do you know about that questions? What else can we say? Mm -hmm. I think somebody's talking. Is is, is somebody talking? No. Well, no. teacher, eh, also, the, uh, what I know is that when in Spanish we say, Verdad? Yeah, teacher. All right. When we say, Verdad? Okay, right. We shouldn't Verdad. think about it like that, okay? Because, guys, it's really bad to translate, believe me. We, yeah. If you get used to translating, you are not going to learn a language ever, you know? Because the language is, is not really translated, you know. There is uh yeah. so so yeah, okay, all right, very good guys. So uh, all right, let's see what a tag question is, okay? All right. So a tag question, guys. All right, it's uh basically special construction and is a special construction in English just to ask for confirmation. All right. So mm -hmm. We can use them, you know, to actually ask questions, but we can also use it to give opinions, okay? Which is what the platform is talking about, okay? So um, it's a statement, okay? It's a statement followed by a mini question, right? So give me a statement, guys. What is a statement? What am I saying when I say statement? Um, it's a sentence. Really, it's a sentence. All right, so what would be an example of a statement? We are studying English, aren't we? No, but just, just the statement. Oh. You study English? All right, do you study English? No, you study English. You study English? Uh -huh. No. English, English, all right, very good. So you study, right? So, all right, it's a statement, right? <clears throat> so you can say you study English, okay? What else? What else is a statement? And I want you to, guys, let's stop talking in simple present, okay? Let's, we are advanced English, right? Yeah. So simple present is not advanced, okay? But by good example, I'm not saying that's a bad example, okay? Just give it more, you know? Something, something more advanced. Okay. You study English. What else? She has been living in New York. I'm sorry. What? She has been living in New York. All right. She's been she living. Been... Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have. She's been right. She's been living in New in York. New York. Okay. Right. So she's been living in New York. All right. Very good. What else? So, so far we got two, right? Uh -huh. Give me another one. This was, okay. right? This was present perfect continuous, right? Have you ever been in Guatemala? Well, that's a question. That's not a statement. Okay. He will get married tomorrow. All right. So we got, okay, he'll get married tomorrow. All right, what else? What else, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah, I don't know, give me, give me past. Technology. Give me something in the past. Uh, in the past, okay. We have done our homework on time. Okay, we've, we've done, you know, our homework. 
on time. Okay, I like this. Okay, very good. Uh, past perfect. Can we have past perfect? What would be past perfect? What would be an example of it? Hey, we saw past guys. We've been we've been talking about past perfect, right? We have, we have worked she there for many writing. years. What what what? She has writing uh, book. Okay. Hold on, hold on. I, I think Josue was talking. Josue. We had worked there for many years. We'd worked there for many years, right? Now, when you're talking, guys, okay, just just remember one thing. Um, when we when we're talking, when we are talking and not writing, we people always use contractions, okay, always, right? So, we worked there for many years. Okay, right, very good, guys. So I got five examples so far, right? Very good. I like. It. All right, so these are statements, okay? All right, now how do we turn them into op opinions, okay? Because again, we're gonna talk about tag questions, right? And all right, quote unquote questions, all right? We're gonna call them quote unquote questions, guys, because they are not really questions. They can be questions, yes. But did you know, guys, that you can turn them into questions or opinions depending on the intonation, all right? So let's uh, talk. All right, uh, technology had not been as advanced as in these days. Okay, I like that, Sandra. Very good example. I, I really like that. Okay. Yes. Technology had not been as advanced as in these days. Okay, very good. I like this. Okay, so we're we're soon, guys, gonna turn these uh, these sentences, you know, into into opinions okay because right now guys are, are are they like really opinions is this expressing opinions i mean you're you're transmitting information right but they're not really like you know there is a way we can make them sound as opinions right so guys the basic structure of tag question is like this okay we have a positive statement right let's talk about positive tag questions first right so we have a positive statement all right, so we said, for example, uh, a positive statement, right? He came here. Is that a positive statement, yes or no? Yes. Yes, right, he came here, right? Yes. And then it says, followed mm -hmm. by a negative huh. tag, okay? Do you know what a tag is, guys? Just a, a tag, not a tag question, a tag. Yeah. You know what that is? Short question, a small question. Let me, let me ask, I'm gonna ask you guys because I, I need, everybody should participate, all right? So one more opinion, guys. Guys, what is a tag? I, I want you to understand why they're called tag questions, but you know, you might, you might understand how to use them and everything, but why are they called tag questions? Why? I could have called them- Extension? Extension? An extension? extension? Is that an extension? All right, listen guys, this, this is a tag, okay? Have you ever gone to Walmart? Of course, right? Of yes. course. All right, uh, mm -hmm. let's, let's say that you're buying, you know, you're buying a TV, okay? All right, you're buying a TV like this, okay, whatever. And there is the, and there is something that looks like this, okay? Something that looks like this. And it says, you know, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm trying to do my best, guys. And it says, you know, <clears throat> This is my best representation of the of ninety nine dollars, guys. <laughs> mm. You know, so it says ninety nine dollars, right? A TV for ninety nine dollars, guys. That that is yeah. that, that that is not. I don't know what that is, but that's not a TV, right? They're not ninety nine dollars, but I did not have more space 
and how do we call that? Yeah, that's a duck. All right, very good, guys. This is a, this is called, this is a tag, right? This is a yes. prize, right? It's called a prize tag. tag, okay? It's a prize tag. This right here, guys, is a tag, okay? Something that you attach, you know, to something. For example, if you do this, guys, if you, if you place a sticker on something, right? That's also a tag, okay? A tag is something that you attach, that you concatenate, that you link. Got it? Yes, Jose? Yeah. Um, a tag could be also like the thing that is um, uh, in the back of the shirt that says the, the size of the yeah. shirt. Yeah, because you tagged it, right? Got it? So, yeah, because you stamped it. Yes, that is, a, that is a tag too, right? So following this example, guys, okay? That TV, right? I'm gonna make it a little bit longer, right? So that TV represents a sentence, okay? So this is like saying, okay, so um, let's see. I don't know, let's see. Uh, you like, do a loop, right? We're gonna. I'm not very creative, guys. So I'm gonna continue with the loop. You like do a loop, right? And we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna pause it here with a comma, okay? Now this, right, right here, the TV, guys, okay, is gonna represent the statement, okay, the sentence, right? This right here, guys, is going to be, you know, the statement, okay? All right, this right here. Okay, now, now, okay, so then we have, you know, we're gonna have a price tag here, right? A very oversized price tag, okay? And the price tag is like this, okay? Oh my God, all right. Now, the price, the tag here, guys, would be, what, what will be what won't you don't you don't you right very good all right very good yeah. i'm going to teach you about the structure later right but now you like to a loop it don't you got it now i can say it in two ways guys and i want you to repeat it with me okay repeat guys you like to a loop it don't you you like to you like to don't you all right, very good. So guys, intonation, all right? Intonation changes the message, okay? And that is in any language, right? So intonation changes the message, okay? Now, what is intonation? Intonation is music, guys. It's the music of speech, okay? Right? For example, I'm gonna say the same thing without saying a word, okay? You like to loop it, don't you, right? It's like saying, da 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 See, da 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 da, mm -hmm. da right? That yeah. right there, guys, the music, right? The music is intonation, okay? Got it? So, by the way, yes. that's, how, that's how you can learn, that's how you can learn um, accent if you want to really get deep into this, you know? But anyways, right? <clears throat> so, in the platform, guys, the examples that you have in the platform, you go to the platform, guys, all right, you're gonna come across a few examples there. Now, it says that we can use tag questions, right? To give opinions. For example, I can say, you like Dua Lupe. You like Dua Lupe, don't you? See, now, now the intonation is, is not ta -da, da 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 right? No, it's not that. Now the intonation is ta da 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 See, da da see? Now that's a raising intonation right there. Okay, <laughs> that, that's a rising intonation, you right? You like right? to a loop it, don't you? Exactly. Repeat, guys. You like to a loop it, don't you? You like to a loop it, don't you? All right, so don't guys, you? when I say like that, guys, I am assuming, okay? All right, I'm assuming, guys. Is it like that? Assuming or we assume? Yeah, with two M's, right? So I'm assuming, guys, 
right? That I that that you like Guadalupe. Okay. When you are sure. When you are sure, exactly. Okay, you're assuming. Well, you're not sure, you're assuming, right? You're pretending to be sure. Okay, so so basically, guys, right? Um I, when I teach you the structure, you're gonna notice that um, you're gonna notice something interesting, okay? You're gonna notice that we have that that we are using, guys, actually the auxiliary, the auxiliary of when we make a question. I want you to take a look at this example, right? Somebody please help me read the example that we got here. <clears throat> this one right here. Go ahead. Snow is white, isn't it? You don't like me, do you? Your mute. I don't hear your teacher. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Okay. All right. I'm so sorry, guys. So I was saying, all right. Yeah. So the the, the intonation here should be snow white is snow white is white, isn't it? I mean, snow is white, isn't it? I said it, I said it's snow white, right? So uh, you don't like me, do you? Right? Now, never in your life, guys. Okay. Never say you don't like me, do you? That is very toxic. Okay. <laughs> don't say that. All right. Never. So listen. Okay. So so these that questions, guys. When you pronounce them like that, okay, it's not that you're asking, you're not sure, right? You're just pretending, you know, that, you know, you're trying to assume what, what they, what they do. Okay. So anyways, so, so we have positive and we have negative type questions. All right. So what you have to take into consideration is the auxiliary verb. All right. So for example, guys, you're coming. First of all, guys, I want you to notice something. Is that a positive statement or a negative statement? That's um, positive. That's positive. That is positive, affirmative. right? Affirmative. Very good. Affirmative or positive. Okay, very good. Okay. Now, is this right here? What is that? Um, that's a negative question. That is, that is, negative. That is, that is negative, right? So very good. So if the tag question, if if the statement is positive, the tag question needs to be negative. Okay. So over here, right? Positive, negative. Okay. You're coming, aren't you? We have finished, haven't we? Okay. So hey, why are we using aren't we? I mean, aren't you? Sorry. Why are we using that? Why, guys? <laughs> Tell me. Why are we using R and R and you? Why are we using R? The, st the statement is affirmative. The that part question is negative. Negative, negative, negative. Right. But yes, yes, no. But no, that's not my question. Why are we using? Okay, so why am I not saying? You are coming, don't you? Uh, because you are using the uh, the verb to be and uh, the same verb we have to use in the tag question. Hmm. Okay. Oh, the auxiliary. All right. Do my favor, guys. Okay. All right. I, let's let's analyze this. I want everybody, guys. Sorry, guys, I know that you've been uh, Sandra, Patricia, the drugs, the drug story, isn't it? By the park. That, that wouldn't be correct, Patricia, but we'll, we'll see why. Okay, teacher, I can't hear you. That is Yesenia. Yesenia, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I just, I just saw your messages, guys. Uh, Patricia, you haven't been to wake up early tomorrow, haven't you? Nope. 
I'll, I'll help you with that, Patricia. I am young, aren't I? That's good, Sandra, because we're gonna. I'm gonna teach you about that soon. Okay. All right. I don't know. I'm not sure what is good. Right. Aren't I'll, I or or am I not? I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Okay, but right now, guys, <laughs> right now, okay, right, right now, I want to see you guys how good we are, we're how knowledgeable we are at this right now. I want everybody, guys, to send me all these uh, these six examples with their respective tag questions. It doesn't matter okay. if you make a mistake, guys. I want to see how, how knowledgeable you are about this right now, okay? So then we can correct them together. So everybody, all right? Okay. I want everybody in your notebooks, guys. I mean, in, in the chat, not in your notebooks, okay? Send me, guys. No, you know what? No, 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 no. Uh, let's do it in your notebooks, and then I'm going to ask each of you, okay? Okay. All right, so you study English. She's been living in New York. He'll get married tomorrow. We've done our homework on time. We've worked there for many years. Technology had not been as advanced as in these days. Let's turn all of that into tag questions. Yeah. <clears throat> Fascinating. <laughs> 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 Okay. All right. So mute yourselves, guys. Meanwhile, so everybody can focus. All right. And now you can unmute when I when I ask you to participate. Okay. All right, do them in your notebook first, guys. Okay. Do them in your notebook first. Are you still seeing the whiteboard? Yes. Okay.
All right, guys, if you finish first, let me know, okay? I think I finished, teacher. <laughs> All right, okay. Let's wait for one more so we can. You can see that. All right, guys, so let's hear your examples, okay? So I heard somebody finished already. Now, if you finished, guys, okay, uh, well, I am asking everyone, you know, you can send the rest to the to the group, okay? To, to the chat group, okay? All right, very good. So let's see, guys, who wants to give me number one? Just study English. Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? All right. So you study English, don't you? Right? Very good. Okay. You study yes. English, don't you? Okay. Good job. So you know that we need to use a negative type question, right? For positive ones, right? Very good. So, yes. So if it is positive, guys, so if, right, if the tag question is positive, I want to change the color. Right, there you go. You don't, no. If what is, about the intonation, mister? Yeah. You study English, don't you? No. Yeah, you study, you study English, English, don't you? Don't you, but because you, you know. Yes, yes. You, you can do you it like that. English, you, you, you study English, don't you? Exactly. You study English, don't you? All right. That is intonation when you know something, right? When you're assuming. All right. Very good. Now, um, good job. What's the answer for number two? Doesn't she? She's been living in New York, doesn't she? Hmm. Okay. Doesn't she? All right. No, no, no. Oh, she's been living. She in New has York. been living in New York. All right. Let me. Let me. Right. She? Do me. Do me a favor. She? Do me a favor, guys. Do me a favor. Raise your hand. Raise your virtual hand. <laughs> If you if we need to participate, okay, because because people are talking over the other one, right? So Evelyn, what was the the answer? Okay, uh, she's been living in New York, hasn't she? Very good, guys. Okay, so here, raise. Okay, so here that was you said English, don't you? Very good. Okay, you know what? Let's change that. No, 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 no. You study. You study English. Don't you, right? She's been living in New York. Hasn't she, right? Why do we say hasn't, hasn't she? she here? 
Because we are using. Yeah. <laughs> because guys we need to use the auxiliary right and that's what i'm going to explain next right we need to use the auxiliary for the tense that we're using in this case we're using um we're using what she's been leaving what is that what tense is that she has she has been living present, present, present perfect present perfect, present perfect continuous that is continuous. present perfect continuous or continuous. present perfect progressive right so we're using the present perfect progressive here okay so she's been living in new york hasn't she okay why because has she has right has is the, yeah. is the auxiliary okay? okay and we're gonna yeah. use it in negative form she's been living in new york hasn't she right mm -hmm. very good um what about number three who wants to give me number three one he He'll get married tomorrow. One, one she? Once? No, once one he. he. One he. One he, right? Very good. One he. One he, right? Very good. And I'm sorry, I'm forgetting the question mark. Comma, one he, right? One he. <clears throat> As in she, right? Don't you? Okay. Um, we've done our homework on time. What's the answer here? What's the answer? Yeah, what's the answer here? Having the we. Having we. Now, it's not having we, right? Because if you say having we, that's intonation for a question, right? We need to say like, having we, right? Having we. Having we, right? Very good. Uh, we'd worked there for many years. Wouldn't we? Wouldn't. Wouldn't. No. Wouldn't we? No. Hadn't we? 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 Guys, guys, here's the thing. All right, so these guys, okay, all right, this, it doesn't make sense, guys, if we say we would work, we would work, because this here, right, that, that doesn't make sense, okay? This, guys, is the contraction for had, okay, not would. In this right. case, it's Bhutan. Yeah, that that's it doesn't make sense, guys. Right? It's that you gotta yeah. you gotta take it a look at the context. Okay, we've worked there for many years, hadn't we? Right? Right? Hadn't we? Right? With technology <laughs> had not been as advanced. All right, so technology had not been as advanced as in these days. Had it? Had it? What it? What is it? Had it? Had it? Had it? Had it? Have have it. it. Had it. it. Had it. Had it. it. No, no. Have it. Had it. Had it. Very good. Had it. Had it. Yes. Very good. Ah. All right. Had it. Right. Because yeah. it's the sentence is negative. All right. Then the the then you know the attack question needs to be positive. Okay. So that's what I wanted to teach you guys. Yeah. People from the chat. Let's see. Uh, Yancy says he'll get married tomorrow. One he good job, Yancy. That is great. How many senses do we have to write, Patricia? Yeah. All right, Joaquin Ramirez. How many senses do we have to write? Okay, Amilcar. He'll get married tomorrow. One he she had been signing singing in the bar, hadn't she? My husband had to visit San Pedro Masawat today, hadn't he? Hey, I like this example because I, I, I want you to, I want to help you. All right, guys, let's let's help with this example, okay? So I got the, I got the example, this one right here. All right, we're not. Can I erase this? All right, very good. So check this out. Um, so it says, it says, Jesus Christ, hold on. Uh, um, all right. So it says, right, number seven, my husband ha had to visit San Pedro Masawa today, hadn't he? What's wrong with this sentence, guys? The tough question is, is wrong because they, uh, this, this person had to put, didn't he? Very, okay all right so all right so uh, yes had right here and 
to is not an auxiliary. It's a mistake. Exactly. Had in this tense is not an auxiliary because the tense for this sentence is what? Past tense. Has simple. Has simple past tense. This is simple past, guys. Right? My husband had, had to visit is not past perfect. So because it's not past perfect, the auxiliary is not hadn't, okay? The auxiliary is? Didn't he? Didn't yes. he, right? Didn't he. My okay. husband had to visit Tempera Masawat today, didn't he, right? Very good job, okay? So that's, you, you gotta take you that into consideration, okay? No problem, all right? So yes, so, all right, so I'm gonna mute you now. Guys, whenever you're not participating, please mute yourself because you have people talking in the background, right? All right, very good. So, um, all right, so let's go back to the presentation here, guys, okay? All right. Um, so that was, guys, the example for negative statement tech questions, right? So if we have, guys, if we have, right, uh, you're coming, right? Well, I'm going to use this example right here. You're coming is positive, right? And the tech question needs to be negative, right? Mm -hmm. Why do we use aren't, aren't you? Because are is the auxiliary. So we're always, well, actually most of the times, because there's an exception, all right? Most of the times, guys, we are going to use um, the auxiliary, okay? For example, can you identify the auxiliary? In this sentence, we have finished, haven't we? What is the auxiliary here? Have. 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 This is the auxiliary, have. right? Right? We know that have is an auxiliary and not a verb, you know, and not a... Finish. Is, and not, not a verb that is talking about possession because we have a past participle here, okay? So it's just working as the auxiliary. So in that case, we have finished having we is correct. We can use have, have, uh, have here. But what if I said, guys? Okay, so take a look at this. What if I said, um, we have a car, uh, haven't we? Is this correct? No, teacher. No. All right, Patricia, why is this not correct? Uh, because have uh, is not an auxiliary. Uh, oh, it, in, this, in this case, it's, um, it's oh, a... Beautiful job, thank you. That is a perfect answer, right? Because have in this case is not an auxiliary, right? Okay, so, oh, so uh, notice, notice that here it says, right? Do must appear and the tag for present simple Right, and past simple when, when it's optional in positive statements, okay? But what it means, guys, is doing, well, in the present and doing in, in the past, right? So also, guys, all right, it's important to notice that if we have something like this, okay, he, um, he programs a lot of software, Give me the tag question here. Doesn't, actually, let's just. Doesn't let, he? Doesn't he? he? Let's actually. Okay, very good. Right? He programs a lot of software, right? Doesn't, doesn't right? He? Now, I want you to notice, guys. Doesn't he? Doesn't he? Right? And the, the intonation, guys, is doesn't he? Right? Now, I want you to notice something here. Okay? We have to follow, guys. The auxiliary, the auxiliary needs to. Uh, follow the type of subject that we're using, right? In this case, this is third person, right? Right? So we have third person. So if we were talking about you, you program a lot of... Now, can we say, guys, a lot of software? You program a lot of software? That is incorrect. Mm -hmm. Don't you? No. Can we, hold on. No, 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 no. There is something incorrect here. You, you didn't catch it. He programs a lot of software.
Can we say a lot of software? Learn to software. A lot of computer. No, no actually, no. It's, this, this, it's, no, it's this. missing a T teacher. Okay. Yes, Sorry. it's missing a T. Very okay. good. Very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. Okay. Now, if you, this said, guys, okay, you program a lot of software, right? What would be the tag question here? Don't you? Don't, don't you. you, okay? Don't you, right? Don't hey, you? The intonation, right? The intonation, okay? So notice, right, that the auxiliary is still following the third person rules, right? Yes. Same thing, okay? Now, uh, I don't know who asked me this question, but okay, so if you have something like this, um, I am a good oh. person. What is the tag question here? Am I? Am I? Am I? Am I? Can I say no. am I? No, I'm not. 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 i am Ain't I? And ain't I? Aren't you? Ain't. No, I don't know. Aren't, <laughs> aren't I? me? Aren't I? All right, all right, very good, guys. All right, let me give you, let me give you the answer, okay? So you don't fight over this. The answer, guys, is. Am I? Aren't I? Aren't I? Aren't I? Aren't I? Repeat. Aren't I? Aren't I? Okay. I am a good person. Aren't I? Right. So this is an exception, okay? I'm missing a name, guys, yeah, sorry. Aren't yeah. I, okay? Aren't I? Aren't I? Ah. Okay. Uh -huh. So <laughs> I'm a good, right. right? And let's contract this, right? I'm yeah. a good person, aren't I? Okay. So now it is possible, it is possible, but never say this, okay? To say, I'm a good person, am I not? Why should you not say this, guys? Because that is extremely formal. Okay, people do not talk like that. It's like saying in Spanish, you know, I don't know. Um, like instead of saying, hey, que onda? So, or hola, right? Instead of saying that, you would say, um, buenos días, le de nuestro señor padre, right? Like something, I don't know, right? Something very. Oh my formal that you never nobody says right too much too much formal exactly exactly right nobody talks like that okay mm -hmm. so you never say guys am i not the answer is aren't i okay aren't i aren't i okay. now aren't if I? it is negative right if you say i'm not i'm not a good person then what is the tag question here am i am i am i, am I? Am I? right Okay, in this in this case, guys, okay, you would say am I, right? Only in negative, you need to use are. Only in positive sentences, you need to use are. Okay. All right, only, only in positive sentences should you use are, okay? And there's another another important thing here, guys, okay? All right, what if, what, what is this, guys? Okay, uh, do your... Homework. Do your homework. Do your homework. What is that? Don't you? Your okay. Homework. Do your homework, don't you? Don't you? Mm -hmm. Is this correct? Your? No. 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 Don't, it. Uh, no. don't it. I I think that is not correct because uh that is not. A uh, statement is uh, uh, an order. A order. Very good job, right? And guys, by the way, that is the difference between a statement and a sentence. Okay, a sentence can be can be an imperative. An order is an imperative. You want to say imperative, right? And it could be an imperative. It could be a statement, right? In this case, right, this is not a statement. This is an imperative. What is an imperative, guys? It's an order. 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 All right. Any imperative, guys, is 
an order, right? All right, it's a command, okay? Command. All right, so that's, that's an imperative, okay? It's like your mom, right, back in the days, right? Do your homework, okay? Clean the dishes, right? Go buy bread, right? And, uh, okay, so this, this right here, guys, okay? So this right here is an imperative, okay? So what is the tag question that we should use here? No question. No question. No, no, no question. <laughs> Do you? I'm, 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 exclamatory. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, teach you that tomorrow. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm gonna teach you that tomorrow. All right. So don't worry. It's, it's something else, guys. Okay. There's an exception there. All right. It's not what you imagine. Okay. It's something very different. All right. You can you may, you can use, actually use many many things. Okay. They don't apply. Commands are the only things that do not apply to the rules. Okay, all right. So guys, I would like to go over the answers from section number three. If you have questions and you want me to help you with the answers, go ahead, you can ask them right now. This one, did you, did you get these ones? We, we Well, we saw these ones yesterday, right? Yeah. Do we have another one for from section three that you'd like to go over with? Okay, guys, now some of the things guys, okay, we go over like the general topics from this, but obviously guys, there is something like vocabulary here, right? Like how to connect ideas from uh, format, right? Please guys, please, right? These videos are here, right? So you can, so you can learn, right? It's so the topic, right? We, the, the topic that we saw is uh, passive, well, present, continuous, present, perfect, and future, right? But along the way, you have vocabulary, okay? So these videos will help you increase your vocabulary, all right? So please, guys, right. give them a watch whenever you can, and then, you know, ask them, right? But, but yeah, try to understand, you know, why they are the way they are, right? And by the way, guys, uh, so let's answer, guys. Let's answer, well, we have the listening exercise, which, oh, this one right here. What is the answer for number one? Chat rooms, it says chat rooms. Yes, yes, but you have to type in the answer. It says, listen to Edward Maria talk about the internet. Who is the most enthusiastic about the internet? So I guess you have to answer, Maria, okay, let's go with Maria. Maria, all right, very good. Maria. Yeah. <laughs> all right, part two, listen again. Does Edward T. mention uh, these is right only the letters of the names of these people? So you, you either have to say E, T, or M. So child rooms, is that E, T, or M as a mother? M? M. Okay, yeah. what about news? T. T, okay, T. what about webcams? M. M, okay. What about downloading? M. All right, computer games. M. M2, okay. All right, blogs. M. All right, what about email? E. All right, what about instant messaging? Edward. E. Okay, what about online M. courses? T. All right, what about online shopping? E. E, okay. E, 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 e. E, okay. E? Ah, ya me hicieron sacar mal la nota. All right, very good. Good job, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, very good. Uh, the next one is this one. But this one, right, it's just a, it's about multiple answers, right? All right, I think that we're good. We don't have anything else to fill out. So that's it, guys, okay? So tomorrow, guys, we're going to go over the rest of TAC questions. Anyways, did you learn anything new today? Yes, of course. Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. All right. Yes, of course. Sir. All right. Yes. So, guys, I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Take care, guys. Bye. Okay, good, good night. night. Good night, please. Yes. Good night, everyone. Good night. Everyone.